please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is that cool? It's Wednesday, my dudes, and I'm your dude, Richard. Oh, sorry, and I'm your beautified co-host, Chris. Stay tuned for some weather, sports, and other news, but first, to weather with Nick. Thanks. When you came in today, the temperature was 23 degrees, with winds gusting at around 18 miles per hour, as well as a faint snow. Throughout the rest of the day, the conditions will be staying the same with partly cloudy skies and a light snow. Tomorrow, when you come to school, make sure that you are dressed warm once more, because it is expected to be even cooler tomorrow morning than it was this morning when you came in. That's your weather update for the day. Now back to Chris and Richard for lunch and birthdays. Happy birthday goes out to Bernice Garcia, Alexi Weed, and Sonia Abbott Mo. Now to sports with Cindy. Sup, dogs. I'm back reporting for sports. So let's get into it. Last night, the varsity and JV girls basketball team squared off against Rossville. The varsity girls defeated Rossville with a score of 55 to 52. Emily Michael led the team with 18 points. Meanwhile, the JV girls were able to bring down the Hornets with Peyton Debris, Jordan Frazier, and Sydney Whitaker having the big night scoring. In wrestling action from last night, the Hot Dogs fell to the state champs with the largest points difference of the season, 65 to 6. Zeke Van Deveter earned a win by fall. The Hot Dogs travel to Northmont this Saturday for conference. Good luck. Good luck. Finally, golfers wanting to participate in golf this spring should meet in room 102 at 7.45 a.m. on Friday, January 11th. That's it for sports. Now back to Chris and Richard. Thanks, Sydney. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2, we'll have pizza sticks and taco snacks. Line 3 will be closed. Line 4, soup and salad bar with broccoli. And line 5 will be Big Daddy Pizza. Also, 41 DECA members will be competing in the DECA District Competition this Saturday. DECA members are uh, reminded to be in the student parking lot in business attire by 6.45 a.m. this Saturday. If you are a DECA senior looking for scholarship money for college, don't forget DECA awards over $300,000 in scholarships each year. To go to the official DECA website to access online application. Applications are due by January 19th. As always, DECA will be selling cookies be, uh, be sure to get your M&M, chocolate chip, sugar, and snickerdoodle cookies while supplies last. Anyways, thanks for watching. And hang in there as we mourn the loss of Cool Math Games and Powerline I.O. Rest in peace.